Instagram right now. I am coming to you live um, in this beautiful gallery space with my solo show, and I'm super happy to be here to share my work with you guys. Um, this is a special show for me. It's called The Countdown Till Summer, and I think everybody is ready for summer to start, especially myself. Um, can't wait to get back to the beach to soak in all that inspiration and throw all that into my work this summer, uh, painting plein air and taking lots of uh, photos and making lots of fun memories with my family and friends. So um, I'd like to introduce you to this beautiful space that we're in. Um, if you take a little look around, you can see this entire um, gorgeous gallery. It's um, in the Manhasset School, um, the secondary school, and I've really never seen a school have a gallery inside of it. It's really special, and I wanted to introduce you to the curator of this gallery, and her name is Natalia. Come on over, Natalia. Um, Penumoro, and she was kind enough to introduce, uh, to call me and ask to have a um, talk about a show here for the students, and I was delighted because, you know, what better uh, place to share your artwork with is with, like, the younger people, the younger generation, and um, especially kids on the island that um, are passionate about the beach the way I am, and about summer because they can't wait to get out of school. <laughs> so, um, can you tell us a little bit about this space and how it came about as a gallery? Um, this space used to be offices, um, mm -hmm. and Michael Sansone, who used to be an art teacher here, had a vision to always have a gallery um, in the school. So finally, he was able to have access to the space, and um, with a generous donation from the SBA, we were able to transform it into a um, <clears throat> professional gallery space with um, real gallery walls, and it's been large variety of artists who have shown their work and all our students have been able to come down and visit like a mini field trip. Um, so we're very fortunate. Yeah, this is very special. And I have the good fortune actually of spending the whole day um, teaching and demoing and talking with your whole um, student body of art classes since early this morning. And um, I enjoyed meeting all of them and sharing stories about um, how they experience art in their world and how they enjoy Long Island and uh, the things that we have in common and the differences and what they liked most about the show. And that was really fun to talk to them about which paintings uh, have a, a deeper connection to them um, and how much enjoyment they have had um, passing it by because this is such a great location for your gallery because the front door to the school, as you'll see later, maybe in this video, um, is right there. So this is the first thing they get to see in the morning and when they leave. And um, I hope that it's been a good place for them to um, be inspired by and enjoy the end of the year and getting excited about summer through these paintings. And I am crazy about this gallery. Um, it's so nice and spacious, high ceiling, the lighting. My work, I'm loving seeing it in here. It's gonna be so sad to take it down. And I'm really happy I'm getting a chance to share it with you guys on Instagram Live because because this is a school, we haven't been able to have this open to the public. So this is extra special to share it this way. And I have this wonderful new assistant, TJ, who's taking this video for us. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the paintings. Um, that might interest you. This was actually one that the students really liked, and a lot of the students happen to be, um, well, they actually, they love this. They, they love my bridge here. This is called the Crossing Bridge, and uh, all of my inspiration, most of it is drawn from Long Island's coastal um, waterways. So whether it be near my house in Lucas Valley, which um, is part of Gladdingtown and near Beattyville, um, we have beautiful um, inlets and, and uh, salt marshes, and this happens to be um, a, a crossing bridge that goes across the creek 
um, club's golf course. And it's such a pretty bridge and it really doesn't over, you know, it's not overly a golf course and just the way the clouds reflect onto the water in this area is, is gorgeous and something to be admired. Um, and, and you can see these marshlands all along the North Shore of Long Island. Um, as well as on the other, well, here's another spot um, that's near our home. And this is um, along our coastline, which is, is rocky on the North Shore of Long Island. So I feature more um, of the clouds in my paintings of the North Shore versus maybe the sand, for example, and the waves that I get a lot of um, inspiration from in the Hamptons in the summer. So for example, this is a path that is um, a, a hidden path near our home and I really enjoy walking. Um, and it's just so beautiful and peaceful and it's so important for you to be part of nature and get out of the house as much as you can and get away from your tech, especially in the summer months, to really um, soak in all that beautiful nature and um, so it fills you up all winter long. And, um, waves are a huge fascination for me. I'm completely um, enthralled in uh, the power of waves and the colors and the, and the way they change constantly. I'm always observing them, especially in the Hamptons. And this is a very large scale painting, as you can see, um, of our white sand beaches. Um, I spend um, a lot of weekends with my family in South Hampton in the summer find it extremely relaxing, calming, beautiful, and we're usually there in the middle of the day. So a lot of my, um, you know, large scale seascape has to do with um, daytime light. And I like the daytime light because it's very joyful and happy. And I think a lot of our memories are made with our families during the day. Um, and, but also I've been trying to get us to go to the beach more at night I love those magic hour colors. So here is um, more like twilight time. And here we have a sunset, um, which is actually inspired by um, Natalia screensaver on her phone. And I think it's such a good thing to think about when you are living your everyday life, how you need to expose yourself to positive visual information as much as possible because that, those positive um, pictures and images will inspire you and fill you up with goodness throughout the day. Because um, we're exposed to a lot of information that is not necessarily like what we would pick to be reading or looking at or seeing. But um, even if you have something beautiful that you pick, that you photograph on your phone every day, you're going to make yourself feel good and you're going to inspire others who might just possibly like see your phone and see an image and get happy from it. Um, this is a painting that is really soft and um, it's really about um, a not sunny day. It's actually like the end of the um, September months in the Hamptons or October even, how the colors start to change and things die down a little bit. But I wanted to explore those colors and the this one is called Calm Moment. I think that these tones can be very, very peaceful and calming to people. Um, um, but I guess my favorite um, of this particular show is probably this painting, um, which is called Little Red Umbrella. And um, I used to paint a lot of little tiny people on the beach and umbrellas and super detailed. Um, and now I've sort of stepped away, but this I think is such a great piece because it's kind of working in the two. So I think it's a transitional piece for me. I'm hoping to continue on with playing around with um, adding people more back into my paintings or other elements of a beach day to the paintings. Um, but this one just feels like a big, a big, bright, happy summer hug to me. And um, it makes me get excited for summer. And that's why I made it kind of my focal painting in this beautiful space, um, since the title of the show is Countdown to Summer. Um, and if you'd like to look over here, um, I have a very special painting that I'm happy to share with students. This is called Wave of Light, which um, was inspired um, 
by, well, and part of the Heckscher Museum of Art's um, biennial show in 2020. And this piece is very meaningful to me because I had a very traumatic uh, COVID experience on top of which, um, you know, on top of dealing with COVID, I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the same time and had chemo. Um, but painting during that time really healed me and made me, um, you know, um, flourish. And being part of being alone with my family, cocooned, um, worked out very well for my health. So this is sort of like representational of that. And also I was so happy when I got the um, Viewer's Choice Award and was, um, you know, appreciated by the people that visited the show and, um, and also that they connected to it in a positive way um, during a dark time. Um, this is so, sometimes the beach isn't bright and sunny at all and you get like a few bum weekends and um, but you could make, you could use your imagination with this and see the and colors that you might have not seen before. And I, I really enjoyed playing around with these, um, these muted tones in this painting. And I did a, a few of them with um, a series. And I love how um, minimal the colors are. And then they really make those little notes of green and yellow and, um, you know, pop more. So if you are at home and, and trying, um, you know, to find new inspiration, like, don't be intimidated to try something that's not what you're comfortable with. You know, that's something a little bit different or new. Um, it could, like, inspire you to do a whole new series. Um, so being a Long Islander, um, I feel like, it, or being a New Yorker, I feel like it's sort of, um, important to get away if you can in the winter, um, unless you love the snow, but I'm not a snow person. So um, I was very fortunate this winter to get to go to two places. I got to go to visit a friend in Florida, and this week um, was our last night in Florida. We had, um, I mean, we were going to the airport like an hour later, and I was like, I'm just go to the beach one more time. We were in Jupiter. And we got to see a moonrise, and um, oh, the colors were just so, so soft and pretty. And um, we had pizza and just picnic. I think there's nothing better than just like having a little picnic dinner at the beach on a nice night, and then the surprise of like a moonrise thing is the thrill of a lifetime. Try to like get to the beach if you can to watch a moonrise with your family. Like, it's so pretty and massive, and it's sort of a, even as exciting as the sunset, really, it is. Um, and so, going along with travel, uh, we also got to go away to Jamaica. Oh, no, not Jamaica, we were in the Bahamas. And I love aqua blue. Like, if I lived in a tropical place, I'd be painting aqua blue, like, all the time. But I'm more, you know, uh, connected with what I see all the time here on the island. I'm not for you know, portray that in my work. Um, but occasionally I do get to have some fun and paint with the aquas. And um, I was happy when Natalia was really drawn to this and decided to put this in the show, um, which I wasn't sure about because it was not Long Island, but it really worked well with having it Florida represented. And, um, and this one um, is also another little cherished favorite of mine because I just think magic hour is just the happiest hour of the day. It's sort of like candy coloring the sky, and um, and this one was in Southampton um, because the sun um, comes from behind the beach and it and it just sparkles and glitters off the off the waves. Um, but if you ever want to see a good sunset, come to come to Bayville, um, one of the best spots on the island. I think a good sunset along with Fort Washington and um, there's so many great places to check out this summer so count on the summer make your bucket list of places you want to visit on Long Island and um, you're welcome to visit me and um, see my studio I'll make an appointment or watch me paint plein air I'm going to be posting hopefully a lot of fun videos at the beaches throughout the summer and TJ's going to help me we're going to do some fun um, you know, drone shots, we'll see. So uh, please keep commenting and sharing um, 
what you liked about this video and about my show. I'd love to hear your feedback and have a great day, everybody. Countdown to summer. How many days left? I should have counted. <laughs> Let me know. Bye. Thank you.